Well, the dog days of summer are winding down, which means a lot of people are planning late summer family getaways. Some family members embarking on these road trips could include our four-legged friends. Joining us to tell us how to keep our pets happy and healthy while traveling is the CEO of Best Friends Animal Society, Gregory Castle, and site editor for Auto Trader, Brian Moody. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Good to be here. Okay, I know that just getting my dogs to and from the vet down the street can be a challenge. So tell us, how do we prepare our, our animals and our vehicles for those, those short and long road trips? Well, the first thing on the, on the animals is make sure you've taken your dog for a walk before. Make sure he's had water, any food that he needs, even any medication, and take medication on the trip as well. So it's important to stock your car up with the important things like that, like water, like food, like um, any special medication that they need, and some toys as well. Keep them happy. Absolutely. So then what are some of the best vehicles for pet owners? You know, uh, we came up with a list of cars that we think are great for pet owners. There are several. We listed them on our website. But, you know, just to name a few, we think uh, vehicles like this Kia minivan right behind us, this is the Kia Sedona. It has a low floor and it has sliding minivan doors. It's not as big as some other minivans, but it also has that important hatchback style door. Uh, but we also like cars like the Jeep Renegade, which is a smaller compact SUV, sort of a crossover. It's less expensive, but it does go off-road. It has a big hatchback-style door and fold-down seats. Also, we like the Subaru Crosstrek. Again, hatchback-style door, so if you have to get your dog in and out in a carrier, it's easier to do that. Or if you have a small dog, you don't have to jump up as high to get in the car. So we think that those are some of the cars that you should consider and some of the features that you should consider if you're buying a car and you happen to have a dog. Absolutely. So then let's talk about securing our animals. Why is it so important that we make sure that our dogs are properly secured in our vehicle before we take off? Well, really, that's a really important point. And a small dog like Felicity here can go inside a carrier, which you then put in the car. Make sure you tie the carrier down as well with bungee cord or with the seat belts if that works. If it's a larger dog, you can get a special harness that the dog can fit on, fit onto the dog. Small, short leash with a clip that will clip into the seat belt itself, uh, that attachment. And don't, Best Friends recommends that you don't have the animal in the front of the car. If that airbag goes off in an accident, that is explosive and it can kill. Absolutely. Some really, really important tips for our viewers this morning. Now, gentlemen, you know, I'm reporting to you from Arizona and one of the problems we have is it's extremely hot. So is there anything we can do to help our pets when it's just so hot outside? Well, quite simply, if it temperatures over 70 degrees, which it is most of the time in Tucson, I guess, don't uh, don't leave the pet in the car unattended, uh, with it, without air conditioning. Or it's best really to take the dog out, even if you have air conditioning, which can run. Then and just don't do it. It it it's, builds up very very quickly. It's dangerous. Just treat them like your kids. And it might Make also sure be a kids. wise choice if you're getting a newer used car. Look for one that has air conditioning vents in the back. And that way it will keep your pet cool even when you're on a trip or even for a short trip. Because like you said, in Tucson, a short trip can mean it's hot in the car already. So you want the pet to be comfortable so they're not agitated and don't disrupt you. And you want them to enjoy it. So consider things like rear air conditioning vents so that your pet can stay comfortable when you're looking for a new car. That is a great point. So while we're talking about kind of keeping our pets comfortable temperature wise, do you have any other tips for keeping our pets comfortable on maybe longer road trips? Well, I think it's important to take the dog out regularly. Um, you know, stop more frequently than you would probably for yourself. Take the dog out on a leash. Make sure it's on a leash. Give it water um, outside the car. Let it run around a little bit, and it, it'll be happier. Also, it's a good idea not to let your pet hang its head out the window. They love to do it, but on the other hand, there are bugs, there are pebbles, there are things flying around which can which can damage them. Absolutely. And gentlemen, where can we go for more information? You know, you can go to autotrader.com and on the home page there's a list of cars that we think are pet friendly. Also, Gregory's site is uh, bestfriends.org and there's lots of great tips on there. Absolutely, there yeah. are. Yeah, bestfriends.org. Well, I want to thank all three of you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now, don't touch that remote. The Morning Blend will be right back after this.